What's up, everybody? This is Bishop. We're out here with the brand new RXTX 300, and we want to keep it looking brand new. So we're going to install the fender mounts today to, for the dock fenders. So I'm going to show you a trick because when you use the drill and you have to drill through, you're putting all that pressure down, you punch through, scratch up your new ski. I've seen videos of guys messing it up. So get your two microfiber towels. This will fix it. We're going to put it here. Take your towels and stuff it up in the crack. So this way, when you drill, the first thing that hits is gonna be the towel, not the other side of the jet ski marking up your beautiful paint. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started on here and show you how it goes. So you wanna get your fender, get the orientation right. So we want it right about here with the, the speaker we'll slide this back but so it's gonna go there hold that on find your holes and mark them so you know where you're drilling that okay once you mark your holes you're gonna have to either get a helper or you're gonna have to keep firm pressure with your left hand on here. Get it on here at about a 30 degree angle. You'll feel it punch through a little bit. So once you feel it punch through, move to the next one. and then you can see your holes going through. So I'll finish drilling them and show you the, end, the finished product. This is the point where you're gonna make sure your towels are real in there. We're going in at about a 30 degree angle, so it's gonna come out right on that towel. Lean on your drill, go slow. You'll feel it break through. And it went through. Now caught it, no problem. So we're all the way through, no mark, no nothing. And then we'll move on to the next hole and put that one in there. Uh, seven thirty seconds, drill bit, and we're gonna drill it down with the actual uh, screws and they're gonna make the threads for you when it go through. So, but we don't wanna mess up this beautiful paint. So we're gonna slide down tuck this under and go at it on this one so i'm sliding the towel making sure i'm coming down at that right angle trying to feel when it punches through punch through towel caught it we're good to go Just so you guys can see, we look under there, no marks, we're good to go. So I saw the other video where the guys were punching through there. They had to be stabbing it, you could hear it. Cause you'll hear a thump with this up there, but that thump, the towel is catching it so the bit never comes in contact with your hull. So you don't want to tear this up, $20,000 ski by the time you get out the door. So you learn this technique from good old cowboy B. Okay, right here, you get your fender, line it up with the holes that you just made. Put it right back over there. Put your torque screw in there. Get it in the hole.
Ta-da! All done. Okay, now we're at the back. Same thing, you wanna get it about right, even with the back of the seat. And protect your RX TX sticker. And you're gonna put that towel under there like I showed you, to save this paint. And you're gonna go through the same process. Get it down, right where you want it. Mark your holes, 30 degree angle. Mark them right, it's a firm commitment. Get that hole going. Once you get the holes going, you can take this off because you're gonna to need to have pressure with both hands to get it through. Go slow, you'll feel it punch through. Mine punch through real slow. And then make sure the rag, as you see, is catching the chalk. So all the fiberglass gel coat is coming out, you're not hitting your ski. So we're gonna move this, make sure we got cushion. Same process here. You're gonna lean on it, 30 degree angle. Make sure you're not going straight down and not straight at the ski. I'm modulating the trigger so I don't have a hard breakthrough. Don't just go full bore and smash and end up stabbing a hole or scratching your ski really bad. These cost too much to be doing that to. You'll feel and hear the breakthrough, but we got the towel to help us with the cushion all the way through. Okay, you, once you get the hole straight, it's better to drill the, uh, the uh, screws right in on top because you can see it. Don't drill them all the way in. Just get them down so they start cutting threads. Do not over tighten this because you're gonna end up stripping the threads. And once you strip them, ain't nothing you can do about it. So you only need this down snug, not impact super tight once that impact goes off a few times and it's flush leave it alone so we're going to back ours out because we already cut the threads so, and we'll put this right back on there right where we need it Get our holes lined up. Get our holes lined up. And remember to keep that angle. Bring it down. Same thing over here, keep your angle. No damage whatsoever. You're good to go. You put your fenders in, hit the water, you got some protection. Okay, everyone, we got to the part where everything's on, and we are going to install the fenders. So this is the last easy part. Just take them out of the package. Okay, here we go. I'll go ahead and just poke one on for you. Make sure you get that pin out. Take it off. Simple as that. They're locked on. I wouldn't leave these overnight because it could bump out. But this is the way to protect your pressures. 
get it all done. I still would probably keep some extra dot bumpers or swing over here to catch it from getting there, but from side to side, you'll be good to go. One on the front, one on the back. Put the back one on just for a video sake. Cowboy B, peace.